Hello everybody, I'm Antonia from Heimdall and today I'll be talking about one of the most relentless and evolving threats in cybersecurity, brute force attacks. I'll walk you through what they are, how they work, types, and most importantly, how you can defend your data against them. A brute force attack is a trial and error method used by attackers to gain unauthorized access to systems, networks, or encrypted data by systematic trying all possible combinations of passwords, encryption keys, or credentials until the correct one is found. It relies on computational power and time to break security measures rather than exploiting specific vulnerabilities. You might wonder why hackers invest so much effort into brute force attacks. The reasons are several. They're easy to execute, capable of exploiting weak passwords, can be automated for efficiency, and offer a higher chance of success when targeting multiple systems. Traditional brute force attack tries all possible password combinations without any shortcuts or optimization. Dictionary attack, an advanced method that uses a predefined list of common passwords or phrases based on research of the target to guess the correct one. Hybrid brute force attack combines traditional brute force with dictionary attacks using common words from the dictionary and trying various combinations until the correct one is found. Credential stuffing uses previously stolen username password pairs from one service to attempt access to other accounts. Reverse brute force attack. Here the attacker starts with a known password and tries various usernames until a match is found working backwards from traditional methods that start with usernames. A strong password policy is key to preventing brute force attacks. Use unique complex passwords for each account, avoiding personal details or common words. Aim for passwords of at least 15 characters combining random letters, numbers and symbols. Never reuse passwords across accounts. Many websites, especially those running on WordPress, allow unlimited login attempts by default. If you're a website administrator, use a plugin to limit the number of login attempts. Once a user exceeds the allowed attempts, their IP address can be blocked for a set period, reducing the chances of a successful brute force attack. In addition to limiting login attempts, monitor login attempts from specific IP addresses or ranges. This is particularly important for hybrid or remote work environments. Set up alerts for suspicious login attempts from unknown or anomalous IP addresses and block those IPs as needed. Multi-factor authentication adds an extra layer of protection by requiring additional verification beyond just a simple password, making it harder for brute force attacks to succeed even if a password is compromised. A web application firewall helps protect against brute force attacks by limiting the number of requests from a source within a given time frame. Web application firewalls can also prevent denial of service attacks and block vulnerability scanners probing your network for weak points. Implement account lockouts after several failed login attempts with progressive delays for each subsequent attempt. This discourages attackers by making the process slow and tedious. For servers, disable root access through SSH as this is a common target in brute force attacks. Restrict SSH logins to non-root users. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to Handal's YouTube channel.